My sister just telling me, texted me to say maybe you're pregnant. Good morning. I'm still living in mass, probably even worse than it's been. And I'm gonna show you the current progress on the wardrobe uh, slash renovation, home renovation. In case you're new to this channel, I promise this is not how it's usually. 7.51, I'm an early riser. I am getting ready to go to London today. Hopefully I'm gonna take you successfully with me. Just choosing what I'm gonna wear. And there's not really much to choose from because I don't have a wardrobe at the moment. So, builders were here yesterday and say goodbye to carpets. And what I can tell you is that this is the, the initial floor isolation. But over here, no more carpets. This is the floor isolation and things are kind of shaping up. This is going to be my look of the day because I think the mirror is kind of dusty. Let me try and move the door out of the way. Never had this problem before. Whew. My look of the day, well, I don't feel the best or look the best, but this is what it's gonna have to be. I could grab these jeans, not my favorite, but that's what I could grab. Just simple Levi jeans, I'll link everything below. Got my Samsa Samsonite, this is my favorite. And my All Saints jacket that I love so much. I will have the red cup seam bag. I decided to go for my new LV booties with a small heel because they're very comfortable. Yet I have some evening events, I need to dust them off because of all the drilling. They got a bit dusty. Fabulous look, my hair looks horrible, but at the moment I just have no conditions to style it. So I'm either gonna pop by the hairdressers or I'm gonna have to put it up. Now I'm gonna pack my stuff and we need to make a move. I'm feeling so sick, as in I feel like throwing up. I'm not gonna throw up, I like never throw up in my life almost, like maybe a few times. But I'm so sick. I think it's the dust at home because of the builders and stuff because I'm all also, like I've told you, really allergic to dust. But I've taken medication and I'm hoping it's gonna work. I arrived in London, we're just off very loud up the street. I'm heading to Liberty's because I wanna pop into Maria Tash and see if there's any chance they have one appointment for a piercing. I checked online, it says they don't. If they haven't got any appointments, I'm gonna kill time by popping into Apple because I wanna buy I wanna buy the new ear pods, the noise cancelling ones, and then I'm gonna head to my first city. Oh, it's so loud over here. Liberties looks very Christmassy, very beautiful, I'll show you. Ta-da! I just I love this place. Tash. They said they're gonna manage to squeeze me in. I don't want to be late for my next appointment, but I don't think I should be. But I'm gonna show you before and after. So this ear, you guys already know what I've got in. I even am considering making the whole blog post about this because I get a lot of questions. And my second ear, because I have two ears, I want to pierce this. So front helix. I'll insert before and after pictures once it's done. I'm so 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 happy because um, I love it. I don't know if you can tell but it's there. It's like a little diamond stud. I really wanted something simple. Nothing crazy but something that is in line because like you know what with these piercings you can either go full on like looking a bit uh, more like a gothic style, I guess, or you know, or you can look like super fashionable if you style it right. I just think, or you can even be tacky if you go all crazy, I think. It's all about how you style your piercings, and I love that Maria Tash is like gold and diamonds. And I will show you a before and after now. One thing I wanted to say, I've never, ever, ever, ever received anything free from Maria Tash. I always paid for the jewelry and for the piercings. Like, I go there as a normal paying customer, they don't know who I am, like nothing. Never, ever, ever had any special treatments. Service there has always been so amazing. They're so thorough on explaining how to clean, how to like look after your piercings. I really actually love going there. It doesn't really hurt, like for me, like the pain is much worse when you hit your little toe on a coffee table. That's 
much worse pain and it lasts longer than piercing the anything aftercare can be tricky especially with helix but i will talk about that a little bit as we go on because i need to see how it's gonna be okay guys just had my first meeting of the day which was at mortimer house it's actually one of my favorite places to have meetings and i'm having celery apple kale cucumber juice hoping this is gonna help super obsessed with my new piercing and i'm ready to go and meet up with um, Kanseya with one of my new team members because we're going through like a massive report of all the analysis that he's done of all of my work this is actually quite stressful when someone's kind of like commenting on your content and everything else face to face and you know that this person means well and it's quite interesting it's kind of like strategic with the objective to get better to improve to get to the kind of next level and always 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 bring you guys the best possible content so we just arrived to dior for my fitting for something very exciting soon i'm always just so impressed how beautiful this place is this is like every girl's dream when you get to pick i don't want to show you what i've chosen for a special event kind of like in december but this is obviously like i worn a lot of this stuff already that you could have seen already in my blogs vlogs instagram etc but now i'm so blessed because i can actually choose from the cruise collection which is now already available that's of course what i've done because i mean like this is the newest collection and the most up-to-date one so you will have to wait to see my look but i promise it's gonna be very soon i had to stop on a new bond street just to show you some of the decorations that are already up we're heading to the Bulgari event i am obsessed i've changed like a little bit just the top so my um stuff can pop and i took a Bulgari bag that they have lent me for the event because it's for charity and i really wanted to create some nice content but look at the decoration i think this is so so beautiful i didn't introduce properly everything that's going on but we're now in the bulgari um, boutique on new bond street because i really wanted to support this amazing cause that they're doing for save the children so this is what i'm wearing it's from bulgari and it is a piece of their charity items as you can see i really really love it i also have a ring i just think it's really beautiful when brands is it gonna focus no um i think it's really beautiful when brands are doing something to support charity work and to support children in need as always so as you could have seen i've changed and i've got this bag which is not mine but it's mine for tonight We've been out of my home. Out of my home for 12 hours exactly. And I got to the station. I barely ate today because I was so unwell. It was one of the hardest days for me to do today because um, I don't feel well. And I had the weirdest craving ever McDonald's. My sister just telling me, texted me to say, maybe you're pregnant. Is that too much? I never eat McDonald's. So that's me just announcing to my parents. Just kidding. Home sweet home. I'm sure Dunya didn't make any mistakes because she didn't do any work. Plus I'm your sister. Of course I've done all the work. My mom's here visiting, my brother-in-law, my sister. While I worked hard, they were all like starting like to work on while you work hard, we work harder. Apparently so which I, I, I doubt. Who works harder? Everybody thinks they work the hardest. That's the rule of life. Think is developing somehow and the floors da -da! i'm so happy with this is so pretty obviously this is just dirt so pretty still not done of course as you guys can see only half done but it's gonna be so pretty i'm so happy like 
this is gonna be so nice good morning from me in the circus well it's not really like already woke up got up had a coffee put a clay mask on and a lip gloss sorry for the noises in the background but you know that i live at a builder's site at the moment the lip gloss it's not lip gloss it's lip balm that i'm using is la neige lip glow balm so it's the lip balm that i got on yes style recently i think i have a discount for you guys if you want to use at uh yes style to get like 10 percent or something like that i will insert it below in case you want to get like because they have some really cool korean uh, products Japanese etc the wardrobe's being built I applied the clay mask because I started feeling that my skin is breaking out for all the like micro 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 dust so I need like my pores cleansed the best way I couldn't apply a lot around the eyebrows because I still have to keep them dry look breakout there I've got some breakouts like here not happy about that but um my eyebrows look pretty cool still i'm still keeping them dry because it's only been a week since i've had them microbladed again the new piercing is here i love it can you see i want like to put an earring there as well so that it's all well balanced let's let's do something wait okay look how nice it is now well at least i think like now when you have like a whole thing I have, so I've got the Maria Tash um, little huggy with the dagger, all star huggy, one star, two simple ones, and just the diamond. Like the, they call it something like a naked diamond because it's not like it doesn't have uh, metal around it. And the lady suggested that this one's gonna keep shinier when you apply a lot of creams and foundations and stuff, which I obviously do. So I'm gonna talk to you. A little bit about the whole experience of like my um, piercings because I get a lot of questions about them how to keep them clean and stuff ever since I think I've done my jewelry collection video you guys are asking me a lot about that so I'll just do a little kind of short comprehensive information about that but I'll leave that to when I'm a little bit more presentable current state of life I like really want to wash my hair and I have nowhere to wash it because guys i can't even enter my toilet like i don't have anything except from bed here because i need to sleep somewhere my bathroom like i can't even deal but like there's stuff everywhere like i look like a hobo like i can't even enter it further anymore because it's full of stuff and i'm gonna close it i like literally don't even want to access it other than that my sister's shouting and screaming at me that i'm not able to like do any drawers or like do anything <laughs> like kind of when i say shouting and screaming i mean in a good way i really want to like wash my hair because i just don't feel well you know when you just don't feel well like don't even know what this is on my head so you know when people present it as being something so glamorous well it's not glamorous my mom's helping a lot as well you are a pro you should do this every day do you know what i mean like some people are just born right i don't need a mr right do you know why because i miss is always right your miss is so wrong wow you're doing such a good job thanks or like for example not. not no what do you mean no no where exactly am i no. not why oh no okay tell tell it's so crooked can you not see nah. instead of filming maybe you should give a hand did you guys know that well probably in england you did but everywhere else in the world you didn't if you want to if you never know which side to open what do you call it a screw yeah it's righty tighty and lefty loosey did you know that Daniela? no it's the rule mm -hmm. always to the right you tighten mm -hmm. and to the left you loosen let's see the master of putting wardrobes together now do a better not job really jelly. not jelly but just now when you were doing it all you were doing was telling me how you could do it and you just decided to copy me well it was the first one was it really it was the first one i've done and i've never done it before so i had to copy and she thought it was so funny that i kept looking at what she's doing and just imitating she thought it was just funny you know well, like in I school you know in school when teacher says like okay do this and then like a like person sitting next to you is just looking at what you're doing no or you just go and check out what clever kids are doing which is what you always used to do there are some arguments going on in the background as you can hear bad things are happening 
and I'm happy about that. I'll update you as we get on. My new flower! It's so pretty, it's so pretty. Guys, what can I tell you? My patchwork of a wardrobe is ready. I promise it's gonna look better once it's already. Um, actually, this is what I decided to go for. This is what I have decided to go for. So, the reason why I've taken away the wardrobe that was here before, we'll insert now for everyone to see. The reason why I've decided to do that is because I technically had one people who are building outside my house for Wi-Fi are so annoying. I initially had here a closed wardrobe which was 1.93 meter long just one hanging space and it was very dark and very difficult to get into because it was covered by half of the wall so that was highly 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 annoying and then I've done some research and I basically wanted to call the company that has built uh, the rest of the wardrobes for me and I have called them and contacted them and asked them to come in and build uh, something like this already however they said that they do not use wood that they have used for me five years ago any anymore so if they do do it which would cost me around six thousand pounds normally I don't talk about prices but I just wanted to kind of like give you an idea that then it will still be different and it will have to be done with a different wood and I would have to wait like months. So, after we have done the floors, I've decided to look up on Ikea and just make something that's gonna be more useful. So now I've got the wardrobes that are not custom made, but they're like the classic pack system that like pretty much everybody has and apparently are really good. I will tell you my opinions later. Obviously I paid for everything with my own money, like nothing is sponsored. Like, I, like you know, I paid for the floors, paid for everything. I wouldn't really be getting like, I kind of calculated that now I should be having two meters seven 75 of hanging place so one meter one meter and 75 hanging space so approximately around let's say 80 uh, centimeters more which is almost um, a meter of hanging space extra and also like stuff is more reachable and I have three extra drawers and two trays which I will show you now it is different wood now I've got like different woods I was contemplating because the IKEA one had to be white I was contemplating painting my whole wardrobe white so that that is white as well but then I realized you guys know I'll be moving soon anyway and I was like there's no point because I actually quite don't mind it and when it's full of clothes it will any way be very colorful the doors off because the floors are in by the way these are my new floors I love them so much we went for the wood wooden floor and I love it really much but let me just show you this a little bit I've got two trays so I'm gonna be using some of it for like probably my jewelry for sunglasses for belts whatever and then I have one clear drawer that I want to use for my t-shirts and stuff like that and then two drawers which are concealed for the ugly stuff <laughs> the hanging space I haven't put the lower rail here just the higher one because I need to figure out how much I need and I've decided to remove the drawers that I had here because they really annoyed me that they were so different so now I'm gonna start putting everything back because right now it's like one crazy mess I put like a little um, not a towel but a sheet on the floor with all of my clothes so that I can put everything back on and I really need to start doing this because this is gonna be a big job <laughs> wondering what am I listening to when I'm tidying but I can't like have it a lot because I'll get copyrighted so let's continue guys Avril Lavigne complicated reminds me of the time when I was in I think high school like just started high school I bought like a CD of Avril Lavigne like a fake one because in Serbia I like to buy um, like original disc am I gonna go to jail for saying this I don't know anyway um, um, in Serbia in order to buy like a real like CD was like something like 50 euros I think at the time and obviously like uh, where, where would I get that money at 14 so I would buy one for like five pounds or something like that but it's like a fake you know like it's just someone like makes it for you on the street and makes like a copy of the cover and I would listen to it and this like I, every morning when I would go to school I would have MTV on I don't know if it was a thing in England in Serbia was such a thing like having MTV on and then I would like be getting ready looking at these like superstars thinking like wow 
they really have the best life like producing music like traveling the world like they're young you know like i don't know how old was our loving but i feel like maybe 18 or 20 or something like that and you know like she's traveling the world having this tour like singing doing what she loves and i have to go to school and do a test and perhaps like a physics professor was gonna like ask me for an oral exam that day because we also have like they can they can ask like you for an oral exam any day they can just pick you out of like 36 students that day and be like tamara i want you to answer three questions and i'm gonna mark you on that it used to be like kind of my morning and i'll never ever ever forget it like it'd be so early in the morning like six something when i would have to like get up get dressed it'd be dark outside and i'd be like packing my school bag and thinking I wish I could have life one day when I do what I love every day and I don't have to wake up with this like sickening pain in my stomach and like you know it's really weird to say and it's bittersweet in a way because it's really nice I feel so grateful that today I am able to never feel sick about going to work and I'm so happy to get to do what I love but one thing I have to say is that it's also scary because you never know if one day I'm gonna not be able to do anymore what I love like it's do you know what I mean it's like probably my biggest fear let's not focus on fears let's focus on what's right now we got to a point where it's getting more messy than it was before just because I basically realized I don't have any more hangers and now things are like on the floor and then I went up to the attic and I found so many more things hangers now the real shitty part begins it's gotten much worse and yet I'm still going it's actually I found it quite hard figuring out like what goes where in these drawers I was just trying to figure out if I could have like my jewelry here or you know like the dimensions are not the best for everything so <sighs> let's see it's gonna be a long night that's all I'm gonna say and that's why I look like this guys it's a new day and your girl is in a crazier mess than ever I'm trying to document it all for YouTube because I was not so present on the stories as I normally am and obviously that kills me inside because I love to be very present on all my channels can you hear that beautiful music what can I tell you except that I decided at least to pick this Zara bodysuit to look a little bit more flattering since the face is not so flattering today but um, I am starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, not sure why, maybe because my bedroom is ready, I'll show you in a sec, but yeah, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, then I'm gonna be able to start putting everything where it should live, and how do I do this? I'm actually very, not to kind of like praise myself, but I'm usually very good at doing these things, like I don't mind tidying, I don't mind like a lot of physical work and activities, I put on my favorite Spotify list, or something on YouTube or Netflix. At the moment, I found actually thanks to my agency, thanks to Marcella, my boo and Julie, of course, who were listening to this when I was at the office. It's Spotify All Out 2000s. Look at this, can you see it? So this is the playlist on Spotify that I'm listening to and it has such good music, like what I was telling you yesterday, like Avril Lavigne, like Sean Paul, uh, Blue and random stuff like that. And then I'm working and that's how it has to be done. And I'm on my second coffee of the day, drinking it from my favorite cup from Alfred's that I got when I was in LA, it says but first coffee. It looks like it's from that kind of metal, but it's a glass cup and then yeah trying to sort my life out today send help send help send help i found a lot of things that i want to throw out like things from my like previous life how i like to say it i mean you know from six seven eight years ago like from random like previous like relationships like photographs postcards cards things like that do we get rid of those or do we keep them as a memory i'm a highly sentimental person and um i keep everything like normally i even keep things from like my friends that i'm not friends with anymore for example or like we don't speak anymore or like we're not just 
didn't have any problems but we're just not in touch anymore i still keep like cards from them and like notes and things what do you guys think what's the general opinion do we keep or do we throw away tell me muy importante sorry for the noise this is yeah this is ready almost ready not already but almost ready now the floors are ready and this room is gonna be so nice once it's all painted and done and ready cannot wait good morning let me try how am i gonna do this what is this noise now i've changed the sweater to bless us all with something that's as old as seven years old sweater that i found while clearing up from juicy couture so embarrassing don't tell anybody juicy's having a comeback right this video is gonna be way too long i am feeling so sensitive and emotional today i don't know why i just think i've got too much going on at the same time and i hate first of all i hate the word hate i really dislike moaning and complaining people to the point where i like literally don't have any pe people like chronic complainers and moaners like i cannot stand that's thing number one i cannot stand people who complain all the time because i think it's like not because i think it's weakness but i think it's because you're just offloading something onto other people i think it's very selfish so i'm not gonna do that and i don't like complaining and i don't like moaning but i'm just speaking to you maybe i'll not even include this in this video because i think it's just so unlike me but that's how i'm feeling today and i don't think i feel like this often maybe it's something with my hormones <laughs> the hormones you know i know a week hormones. Hormones. <laughs> yeah i've been kind of like running a business and a household like work and training new people and like putting things like in place and i just don't feel like i'm 100 percent in anything because there's so much to do at home currently with all the like floor changes well finally we got new floors now i have to like put everything back i have to dust every single shelf i had to clean like basically this is what i'm doing whole day long i have to clean every shelf every pair of shoes every bag empty um vacuum dust clean dry clean wash and at the same time like training or not training but like starting to work with like currently two new work people on my team is very difficult because those kind of things demand a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of concentration and focus and just being like okay like a new plan is taking place then at the same time it's the end of the year so new strategies we're forming new strategies for the next year which is extremely exhausting like it's emotionally exhausting because like you're dissecting your work like your products and like things that you're like making like content and everything and you're like directing your business into like something else and it's just extremely exhausting and then preparing for like the taxes yeah i don't even want to think about it. i'm gonna start crying like it's so like it's so much to think about and i'm not complaining about this like because you guys are gonna think that i'm like a crazy person complaining about nothing to complain about it sounds so exciting and fun like new wardrobes and normally that's the kind of person i am like new wardrobes new floors new everything i love this this is actually my favorite thing it's just that i feel emotionally exhausted not physically but emotionally exhausted and i don't know if you guys are familiar with this concept of being emotionally exhausted but that's the only kind of exhaustion that i know if you know what i mean by that please let me know in the comments below on to what most of you want to know how's the wardrobe progress the bags are back in place kind of things are happening i just need to get rid of a lot of stuff so stuff over here it's either going into the other room why is it so kind of dark it's something's weird here i'm not sure what it is bizarrely i got one whole empty hanging space i don't know what i'm gonna put there but also i don't know where my jeans are so perhaps there's more clothes that i haven't been able to locate yet but i managed to find a lot of coats that i've forgotten about definitely don't need any more coats this season like 100 percent. the only color coat that i don't have is black is that weird <laughs> not for me because i don't wear much black 
but other than that everything's done and then in one of the next videos i will give you a proper tour of my wardrobe and how i organize like you know all of these things but i need to do everything first in this video <laughs> The process is getting better. My mama bear has now helped me organize the hangers. I had way too many hangers. We've decided to put these ones into the recycling and we're just kind of managing. Those are the like type of like designer ones. And honestly, what you haven't seen yet is that we have changed my desktop, like worktop. So I got this one. My mom has done this alone measured everything replaced put it all together screws in and it's going to be beautiful when it's done i can't wait to show you so i've got a really nice marble top now my mom is just saying like thank you for the mention like non-sponsored because obviously that's not her job uh this was my old um desk top and um, it was just like a wooden one, but I taped it over. It's also an option if it's something that you want to do. Wait, please focus, hold on. So I put a tape over it when I got bored of the wood. Look, I put like a sticky wallpaper on it for the marble effect, but I think now this marble effect is so a little bit fake looking for me or I just got bored of it. So decided to replace it with a real deal. Where are we now? In what phase of life? Wait, light is kind of crappy. In phase of I made myself a hot sandwich and wait, I need to elaborate on that. I cannot cook or prepare many things, but a hot sandwich is something that I make amazing with mascarpone cheese, some ham and um, cheese, melted cheese, like it's always divine. Anyway, <laughs> because there's no time to actually properly eat, but I was just a little bit hungry and I'm gonna eat the sandwich. I have like another millionth coffee of the day because I really need to finish today. Tomorrow is Sunday, so there's not going to be much time. But next on the schedule, I need to put the drawers back in the table here. And then it's going to look already much better. And after that, I'm hopefully going to start seeing massive progress. So let's see. With so much excitement, I can finally confirm that this room is ready. I would say it's 99% ready because I still want to wipe everything one more time. Just because like when you move so many things all the time, like the dust keeps getting up and I hate dust. I'm allergic to it, etc, etc, etc. So not a fan of dust and I want everything clean, spotless, perfect. So I'm gonna like one once more like dust everything off and perhaps vacuum. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. Everything kind of was done with help of my mom. In general, when tidying, I love tidying and I do a lot of things my own, but there are things that I hate doing like detangling hangers or some like things that I really couldn't have done it without my mom. Like she helped a lot. And then also massive help of Sex in the City because that was always playing while I was watching as well as YouTube videos. So yeah. Tonight I'm gonna like start focusing on the bedroom, which is not complete, but it's 99% done. And then I can finally wash my hair and go to bed like feeling amazing i'm not gonna give you a tour of the room because i think like it this video is way too long and it deserves a separate video but i'm gonna show you a little overview so my look i mean this and this like yeah but you know this is like real thing i'm not getting ready for these videos this is what you're seeing is like real life this is reality there's no glam right now it's real life so real life i mean i don't know i see sometimes on youtube people like doing kind of like rooms and like redoing their homes and they look so glam and fabulous and i'm like wow girl you're amazing but I'm not gonna lie i'm not the new floors i love them obviously um, I've spoken to you about before like the, the fact that this wood doesn't match anything anymore But I'm not gonna redo these wardrobes. It cost me a lot of money when we moved in this house and also um, Because they 
fit perfectly with the like bit there so i love that i'm very happy with how this looks like this is going to be so much easier to maintain everything is now so much nicer there's some things over here that i still have to put in the places i received some wonderful gifts from apple i'm gonna unbox them later on i love my new um desk top still have to take that out you've seen all of this like there's still some clothing missing or i have to go shopping lol just kidding not gonna go shopping but i mean like i think i have enough clothes uh what i'm gonna say is like bags are just how they were i'm still in search few pairs of my jeans i think Mm, a lot of them are still in the wash, but I still have a um, few pairs to find. Then over here you will notice that I have some uh, magazines, mainly the ones that I'm in. I need to find a place for this, so that's something that I haven't found a place for yet. Someone commented on my owl saying that this is immature and does not uh, fit with the image of me being an adult, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean... I guess like you guys expect me to buy like a beautiful stunning luxury door stopper but this is my owl and I love it and we're friends this is where I'll be filming the videos it looks like a little bit different to how it was before right I'll insert how it used to look this picture I just have to hang that's why it's here but all good I got all of a sudden a lot more space because the wardrobe that was inside of the wall used to come till here over here is the wardrobe that i was speaking about it's just a simple pack system from ikea nothing like too expensive or too special but i got so much more space because instead of one meter 90 approximately i got two meters 75 in the rail bits and as you can see here is quite sparse so there's a lot more space for like jeans that i'm searching for i love the drawers these two drawers are just what used to be in like two massive like really deep drawers and now it's just in this tray system i will talk you guys through all of this over here i'm not sure if this is going to be permanent this is just trying i got all of my t-shirts i got my hats and my headbands some of us here i showed you this is what i need to figure out i have majority of uh, my scarves and hats because it's winter season but i think this will be interchanged with um swimming suits in the summer season which are now in my bedroom and i bought a belt organizer which is coming it's on its way so this is at the moment my belt drawer i'm big on belts so yeah i need to clean this glass as well because i was touching it too much and then over here i have the long space back so remove those ugly drawers i have to organize that a little bit nicer my mom also criticized that even though it's color coordinated it's not perfect okay um then i have short jackets which are like from like thinner to thicker i have some summer dresses over here or actually my favorite dresses and you might be wondering why in the world would you have that but that's just because i would often go in december or in january somewhere warm and like you know what you never know when i might need like a nice kind of you know like last january i went to hawaii or a year before like i would go also somewhere warm like i often go to maldives around this time of the year i don't have it planned at the moment but you know what you never know all of a sudden that shelf is empty but my um louis vuitton kipal bag goes there but something's in it in the bedroom now this looks much tidier now sweaters all of that good stuff is back here and then over here i have some i call this like fashion underwear i spoke to you about it before these are like the underdresses some of my favorite scarves and then like the grandma underwear that you usually wear, like i usually wear when i go to photo shoots and um it's kind of like see-through not see-through but no vpl and stuff like that and then over here i have i have some of these packing bags that i use for like when i'm packing underwear and stuff like that when i'm traveling and i always pack a spare one um for like dirty stuff then i have some like fashion tights socks this looks like it's like like chicken fillets but it's not it's mainly um for when i'm wearing dresses without a bra then again fashion underwear like the no kind of you know showing anything a nude bra and some of the kind of pajamas and i've now now shown you everything needs to throw that out and need to clean the dust and that's that on top of there i just forgot to show you these are just my advent calendars that i've got at the moment i actually need to do a blog post on those and unbox them because yeah it's that time of the year so that's that 
thank you so much for watching this huge long video i promise i'll give you a more detailed um tour of everything to link everything below if you would like to see that let me know and i'll make sure to do that for you thank you for watching bye guys